it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. I hope you're all doing well. Today I am recreating some looks that I saw on the spring summer 2021 runways. That's right, fashion shows still happened. Uh, and it's that time of the year where I will try to convince you that trends aren't actually a thing and that you have everything you need in your closet to feel stylish and current this season. So um, I'm excited to dig into it and shop my closet. I've got three looks that I've recreated for you and because of that I'm going to be running through the elements of style of each one a little bit quicker, break down each look into elements of style so that you don't actually have to worry about having the exact pieces that are on the runway because like how realistic is that? Not very. Um, and really I'm hoping that these kinds of videos help you understand what are the shapes and the colors and the textures that you can actually look at which you can replicate very easily at home without shopping. Let's jump into these spring summer looks. Look number one came from the Céline runway and I have to say I am mildly obsessed with all of the Céline looks this season because there are so many different parts that are made up of a lot of basics in this look you can so so easily tailor it to your personal style, to your body, to your lifestyle Anyway, I will be doing a part two to this video where I take this particular outfit formula and these style elements and I recreate multiple different looks. Let's break this look down into elements of style. The first is trying to nail down the style vibe. I think there is a very effortless feel, but there's also a little bit of a mix and tension between different styles. There's a very delicate sense of lightness because of the ballet flats, the flowy bow blouse, and the baseball cap. So there's this great mix of two different styles. Another great styling element here is the clean and sleek silhouettes. The denim is straight, the blazer is really sharp, but then we've got another shape that's introduced via the bow blouse. There's a lot of flow and softness and volume. So in terms of the shape of the outfit, it's got a nice little bit of contrast. Another element are the matching accessories. There's this beautiful soft brown in both the ballet flats and the bag which bring that kind of ladylike essence and really mess with the ball cap vibes which I think is so cool. Everything else about this look is really simple. There are a couple of little styling hacks, not necessarily style elements but just little ways that this look was put together like the blouse being completely tucked in gives it that little sense of polish. Notice how the jeans are are just lying straight flat. There's no cuffing or rolling of any kind. So it's a very laissez-faire kind of look. And what I especially love is that you can tailor the proportions of this look depending on your body. So you can adjust the rise and the hem of the pants to your body type so that it's most flattering to you. You can even play around with the silhouette of the blazer and the pants as well to make it more suited to your lifestyle. Okay, so I have my, they're not straight leg, they kind of come across as a straight. They're just a little bit tight around the thigh compared to those, but it'll do the job. It's the same like medium wash, which I think adds that nice sense of like nonchalant. And I've also got this Tuxedo blazer. Does yours have to be a tuxedo blazer? Does it even need to be black or is that navy? No, you can fully play around with the colors. You can use a little bit of the contrast, ooh, which I didn't mention. Does your blazer have to be full of cat hair like mine? Absolutely not. So I could go about this two ways. I could do the cream blouse and I get the contrast between the blazer and the blouse, but I think instead what I'm gonna use is this polka dot one. I think because it's got the polka dots, it increases that, um, that tension between the delicate, more feminine side of things and the structure of the blazer and the ball cap. I could use this really thin scarf and I don't think I'm gonna tie it high up around my neck. I think that's gonna throw off the vibe completely. Uh... Ball cap from Tentry. I'm going to use these classic little black and white flat. I've got this great secondhand find.
Okay, look number two is from Off-White. No, I lie. Look number two is by Lancha. I really liked this because I thought it was so different from the first look that we saw. And it is again comprised of basics and so easy to manipulate with what you have. So if I break this down, I think there is a really beautiful mix of styles. Again, similar to like we saw the first time, except here, the styles that are playing together are this really beautiful, romantic and delicate style versus this very like street style sensibility with the sneaker and that oversized blazer. Another really interesting styling element is this tonal look and use of multiple neutrals to bring the look together. So we've got that beautiful cream with the white sneakers and then that tan blazer. If this isn't necessarily your neutral palette of choice, then you can really just choose the neutral that works best for you or that you have the most of in your closet and go from there. It does look like there's a really interesting mix of silhouettes because we've got this big oversized blazer that has a lot of structure, but also a very relaxed oversized fit. And it's paired with something that is so contrasting. There's a lot of flow and lightness and airiness. I also think the minimalism of this look, like the absence of a lot of accessories like earrings and bracelets and rings and things like that, make this whole look more impactful. So if I'm gonna start shopping my closet, I'm gonna take my vintage skirt. This one here, my Vince has that nice open neck. This blazer, it's a uh, second hand. The one in the photo is a little bit of a lighter uh, tan, so it is a lot more harmonious with the cream. There's a little less contrast, but ultimately I'm still nailing that whole like monochromatic or tonal palette. I've got my Vejas. There's a little bit of a contrast in the bag, not only with the structure, but also in the color, which I forgot to mention in the styling element. I feel like if you've been around for a while, you knew exactly which bag I was gonna pull out. That is this one here. I can wear it like a shoulder bag and I actually don't mind that it's a harsher contrast because it pulls from the black in my sneakers. Okay, future Alyssa here to tell you I did not like the look of the t-shirt with the cream skirt. I thought there was too much of a different contrast. So I swapped it out for my secondhand fisherman sweater which is a closer match to the skirt and I think that makes a better difference. for help that we only think about ourselves oh yeah this third look is from off white and it is also wildly different from the other two. This is a look that is definitely a departure from my personal style, so I'm going to really tailor this to my own tastes. I think the boldest statement here is this incredible artistic vibe. And that comes from the mix of prints, but also this really interesting asymmetric hem and the pop of color in the belt. I think overall it creates a very dramatic and artistic look. We've got that really clean structure on top that's fitted at the waist, but it does have a little bit of flow and movement on the bottom. However, those are accordion pleats, so we still have a little bit of structure that ties these two very different pieces together. There is a really strong pop of color in the belt and it's a complete contrast to the black and white palette but also to the slight color that's in the shirt underneath. I'm going to start with the two main pieces being the blazer and the skirt. Do you have to have an accordion pleated skirt? No, not at all. I think this could work with any midi that has a little bit of flow. It could also even be a dress. You don't have to be working with separates if that's not what you have a lot of in your closet. I have a midi skirt, but it's this like bronzy olive color. And the only blazer I have with a print is this plaid one here. 
Luckily they work together because the cream from the plaid really works with the warmth in this skirt, but because I'm already working with color as my base, like this kind of olive and the cream and there's black in there, I'm not going to be too, too ambitious on how I play with other elements of color, especially because that's not necessarily my personal style either. I've got a couple of options to mix patterns underneath, but the colors, again, are gonna be a bit wild. This striped shirt with this plaid, I don't think this works because not only are my colors off, but the scale of the prints are both large. So there's too much competition for the eye. I think this is just too busy. I brought this sweater, so I won't be able to like button it all the way up to my neck, which is what gives this look like that kind of drama and severity, I think. This is a look that like, I want to be realistic that I would actually wear. And this actually works because now we've got the grounding colors and this print isn't so busy. So even though I would say in terms of scale, they're very similar, there's so much more of a dark foundation here that it works with this. It's almost like a contrast. What you could do though, if you love color, but you don't seem to have two prints that work, is just wear a camisole under the blazer and then take a really colorful scarf. In fact, I think I'm gonna show you that option in the next video. So if you're interested in how that will turn out, uh, definitely stay tuned. <laughs> this black belt, I do have a very thick, non-embellished black belt that is very similar to the one in the photo, but Again, I want this to be more of a reflection of my personal style. So I'm just taking that element of a cinched waist and tweaking it to my own personal style. And these black over the knee boots. I think I've already got a lot going on with the color of the skirt. I wanna ground the look everywhere else. Am I making it boring? Probably. I am not an off-white designer or stylist. I am just a normal human being. Finally, in terms of like jewelry accessories, she's got a big pair of earrings, so I'm just gonna add my vintage hoops and uh, away we go. Looks so sweet. I show that around for the heels beating a retreat. And when I heard you talking with that alluring sound, should I recall the sirens? And how that things went down I live on the trenches Looking for a way to escape You always catch me So those are my looks and that is what I have for you today. Definitely tune in for the next video where I'll be sharing all the different versions I could have created of these looks. I think it's such a neat way to really stretch your wardrobe once you are able to identify those elements of style and tweak them for yourself. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you, thank you for watching. If you liked this video or if you learned something new, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day. Ciao!